Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Curse of Oak Island hints Knights Templar worked with Vikings. The most recent episode of The Curse of Oak Island saw a discovery that might connect two historical groups. The team has always believed the Vikings made their way to the island. They also feel that the Knights Templar hid treasure on the island. A brand new discovery makes them think that the Vikings and Knights Templar might have worked together on Oak Island. Here is what the team found and why they connected it to both the Knights Templar and Vikings. Curse of Oak Island connects Knights Templar to Vikings. There are three stone monuments on Oak Island and the team there thinks they point the way to the hidden treasure on the island. However, they have a new theory about these monuments. The team always believed the Knights Templar built the monuments to lead them to the treasure. But what if the Vikings of that era were also involved? The Legina brothers sought out archaeoastronomer Professor Adriano Vespani. They asked him to continue his studies on Nolan's Cross. They gave him two more stone monuments to examine. Those two monuments were the Stone Triangle on the Southern Beach and the Stone Cairns on Lot 15. Gaspani explained they were positioned to align with the sun, moon, and stars. He also said they were built in 1250 AD. His studies on Nolan's Cross also indicated it was built in 1200 AD. This wasn't a guess, as Gaspani said he was 100% sure of the dates. Then, he dropped the bombshell. He said the ability to create these monuments could only come from an expert in geometry, astronomy, and navigation. In 1200 AD and 1250 AD, it could only be very few people. Curse of Oak Island explains New Knights Templar theory. Professor Adriano Vespani told the Curse of Oak Island crew that only religious, knightly, or monastic orders could have created something like this in the 13th century. He then pointed out that the Knights Templar was the most powerful. Since the team already connected the Knights to Oak Island, the puzzle seemed to come together quickly. Gary Drayton found a new artifact on the island and Emma Culligan studied it. It looked similar to an artifact previously found on Lot 13. While Gary was looking for something to connect to Knights Templar, he instead found a Viking artifact. The only people who were known to travel to America before Christopher Columbus was the Vikings. If the Vikings arrived on Oak Island in the 13th century, and the Knights Templar were there building the monuments and possibly burying treasure, they likely connected. This means that the two powerful groups could have collaborated on Oak Island in the 13th century. What are your thoughts on the Vikings and Knights Templar possibly working together on Oak Island in the past? Do you enjoy when the curse of Oak Island delves into history like this? In the hazy twilight of history, where legend intertwines with whispers of truth, lies the enigma of Oak Island, a place shrouded in mystery and veiled by the passage of time. Upon this remote isle off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, a saga unfolds, one that has captured the imagination of treasure hunters, historians, and dreamers alike. It is a tale of obsession, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of an elusive prize buried deep within the earth, a treasure said to hold the secrets of the ages. The curse of Oak Island has long intrigued adventurers, its name whispered in awe and reverence across the seas. But amidst the tantalizing clues and tantalizing hints lies a thread of history that binds together the fates of two ancient orders, the Knights Templar and the Vikings. The story begins centuries ago, in an era where empires clashed and legends were born. The Knights Templar, sworn defenders of the Holy Land, amassed wealth and power beyond measure, their exploits immortalized in the annals of time. But as the tides of fortune turned against them, they sought refuge in the far corners of the world, carrying with them a precious cargo, knowledge that would shake the foundations of history. It is said that the Templars in their flight from persecution found sanctuary in the rugged wilderness of North America, guided by maps and charts passed down through generations. Among these sacred artifacts was a parchment, its edges frayed with age, bearing cryptic symbols and arcane inscriptions. It was a map to a place of great significance, a place where the past and the future converged, Oak Island. But the Templars were not alone in their quest. Across the stormy seas, the Vikings, fearless warriors of the north, sailed in search of new lands and new horizons. Led by Leif Erikson, they traversed the icy waters of the North Atlantic, their longships cutting through the waves like serpents in the night. 
and it was here, on the shores of Nova Scotia, that their paths would intersect with destiny. Legends speak of a pact forged in blood and steel, a covenant between two disparate worlds bound by a common purpose. The Templars, with their knowledge of sacred geometry and hidden truths, joined forces with the Vikings, masters of navigation and exploration. Together, they embarked on a journey that would alter the course of history. On Oak Island, they toiled in secrecy, their labor masked by the dense foliage that blanketed the landscape. Beneath the ancient oaks, they dug deep into the earth, driven by a vision that transcended time itself. They constructed elaborate traps and cunning puzzles, designed to confound any who dared to uncover their secrets. But as the years stretched into decades and the centuries into millennia, the truth became obscured by layers of myth and legend. The curse of Oak Island took hold, ensnaring the hearts and minds of all who dared to seek its hidden treasures. Generations of treasure hunters came and went, their hopes dashed against the rocks like ships in a tempest. Yet amidst the despair and the doubt, a glimmer of hope remained. For Oak Island is a place where dreams are made real, where the impossible becomes possible. And though the treasure may still lie buried beneath the earth, its legacy endures, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dare to defy the odds. Today, as the sun sets over the horizon, casting its golden rays upon the windswept shores of Oak Island, the echoes of the past linger in the air. The whispers of the Knights Templar and the Vikings still resonate, carried on the breeze like the echoes of a forgotten hymn. And though the truth may elude us still, one thing remains certain, the curse of Oak Island will endure, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit and the eternal quest for knowledge.